Okay, good morning, everybody. Tuesday, the 11th of April. So we have find ourselves a flyable morning, or at least till lunchtime, I'd say. Um, low pressures controlling the weather again, and will do for most of this week. There are some signs, though, into next week. Uh, the weather does start to improve with, I think, an area of high pressure starting to move in to settle things down and raise the temperatures a bit. But for the moment, we just got to get through a tricky week of sort of sunshine, showers and wind. Uh, and for today, if you can see this, Warm front is starting to come up from the southwest. It's going to be steadily tracking towards us, bringing an increasing amount of cloud and eventually rain and drizzle. But I'm hoping that that's not going to happen until about half one or so uh, this afternoon so that we can make the most of what looks like a reasonable morning so far. Tight air spars, as you can see, we're starting to pick up a southwesterly flow across the country now. Um, nothing else really other to say um, other than as we go into tomorrow, you'll start to see this area of low pressure is going to be passing us very, very close by, bringing with it in tomorrow afternoon uh, some very strong winds indeed, potentially gusts of 45 knots or so. A little bit weaker than we had originally feared, uh, which is nice. So stuff will be still standing. Uh, but as we go into Thursday, uh, another uh, sort of showery picture, but does look reasonable, another flyable day uh, in there from the looks of it. So, uh, the winds today, uh, southwesterly as we picked up, probably 25 to 30 knots from the southwest, nice and easy and uniform across the country. The satellite picture over the UK, where you can see the warm sector air making its way slowly across. But over us at the moment, we've got a bright start, and no real cloud to speak of, and uh, other than wet ground, it's a nice morning. Uh, nothing else, really, no showers yet. Uh, we'll have a look at that shortly. But the public forecast is suggesting that we should have a bright morning uh, with steadily increasing cloud, which is a textbook warm front, uh, a top temperature of 10 degrees around lunchtime, and that southwesterly wind starting to increase as we get to around one o'clock. Uh, but uh, it's staying generally southwesterly and reasonable visibility outside of any rain or drizzle. We'll just have a look at rain alarms so you can see the latest picture of uh, where the rain is, and there's some showers over uh, western parts of Wales and potentially into the channel, but nothing really affecting us so far. It wouldn't surprise me if showers do pop up this morning uh, before the main band of rain, uh, but that does look a few hours away yet. The uh, predicted from Met Office shows that we would get bands of rain probably around half one or so coming in. Uh, hopefully it doesn't speed up at all. You can see by two o'clock it is definitely raining, uh, but until then, nice and bright, uh, but with increasing amounts of cloud. GFS temperature suggests a little bit lower, maybe eight or nine degrees today. And uh, dew points as that warm sector comes through at around seven, but just before that, uh, dew points are more like uh, four or so with a temperature of nine degrees. Picture outside is that. So if you're not here and you want to fly, get down here because uh, this is the moment. And currently lashing with a temperature of eight and dew point of four. Your meetars and tafts, well, the bank holiday weekend is over. That doesn't really make much difference to me working here. Uh, so we got uh, some TAF details, which shows that from around two o'clock is when Odium expects it to start raining. And up until that point, uh, Probably a mixture of cloud, but uh, generally few at 4,000 feet, which suggests it might even be sawable at some point this morning for a very brief amount of time. Just look at Farnborough uh, as a comparison, and you can see again, no cloud detected currently in a southwesterly wind, and that wind starting to get up from about midday onwards uh, with showers at any point this morning, but quite unlikely. Again, two o'clock before we see any major degradation in the weather. And finally, Southampton, uh, which is showing, again, very similar to o'clock. So I think, yeah, two o'clock is the point where uh, it seems to be unanimously saying that we're going to lose the weather. Soaring today, uh, well, it's showing here, although I think this is probably slightly optimistic, that we might have a 3,000 foot cloud base for a couple of hours. Um, but by sort of two o'clock, that's starting to come down. This is predicting the rain more around three o'clock or so, but I think that's fairly optimistic. So yeah, maybe some weak thermal up to two and a half thousand feet above the site or something, uh, if you get out there uh, between around half 10 and uh, and 12, 
but uh, I, I can't imagine that will last very long, especially in this wind. And no terms on airspace for today. Uh, 23 is the parachuting operation at uh, West of Benson. Uh, the NOTAM, as you can see there, uh, I think most of you are very familiar with that now. 119450, if you're going in the vicinity of uh, of there or speak to Benson as they'll be back from their uh, bank holiday. Article dropping will be occurring from the looks of it at uh, Western, uh, at Abingdon. So that's article dropping all day at Abingdon for the next few days. And finally, parachuting at Bryce Norton. Uh, again, uh, between nine and four. Uh, so, yeah. Don't think that'll affect anybody today, though. So, easy peasy. Good. So, to sum up, a bright morning, and we're going to want to make use of this. So, uh, as soon as we're done with briefing and you finished your cups of tea, get straight on out of there because we want to get flying. Operationally today, then, uh, with that southwesterly wind, we're going to operate on runway two three with landings on two seven. Uh, jet movements, we have one jet movement at 11 o'clock, A321, uh, going off to somewhere in Europe. And yep, yeah, so that'll be 11 o'clock. When that does happen, land on the grass, please, on two seven. But yeah, we'll do left-hand circuits onto two seven, uh, just keep the uh, grass from being waterlogged. And yeah, just want to get out there as soon as we can. See you out there. Bye for now.